What is torque? Simple definition gives you that torque is nothing but the rotating effect of the force. Rotating effect of the force. So when you apply force and there is rotation of the thing coming, then it's called rotating effect of the force. For example, suppose this is a circular shape the body here and as I hold it and rotate like this as I rotate like this I am applying force on this side along this way and this side along this way right rotating so due to that force applied the whole system is now rotating about its own axis so the force applied and the effect comes as rotation then the force is deriving a torque in that situation you can see. So this is the same case when you open uh, the door of your room fixed on the hinges. You will be applying force on the door either pushing or pulling only but the effect is that it is going in an angular path. Okay. Now if I take the problem of the door here, for example, this is the door, and here are the hinges fixed. Then you will be always having the door handle that is far away from the hinges. Here only you can have the door handle. Now, why you are fixing the door handle very far away from the hinges because it is easy for you to open or close the door by holding the handle. You try to open or close the door by applying force very near to the hinges. You find it very difficult. So the difficulty depends on the amount of torque developed. So if you are pushing or pulling it very near to the hinges, you will be using large force for that. But if you do the same at this end, you can see that it is easily. So a small force is required to open or close the door. So the torque effect which is coming, that is, the torque effect is coming along the axis that depends on, suppose here is the point where I am applying force there. This distance is a function d. From the fixed point to the point where you are applying force, that distance I am taking it as r. And if I apply the force along this way into the plane, then I take the force direction like this. And these two are at an angle theta, suppose I say. So angle theta is also very important here because if you try to apply the force parallel to the plane of the door, it is not possible to open or close the door. If you apply the force parallel to the plane, it means like this, if this is the door and if I apply force parallel, it won't go either way. So the angle of application of force with respect to the plane of the door is also a problem there. And you can see that the torque effect is maximum when the forces are perpendicular to the plane of the door. So, you can have the effect of torque that is acting here, torque, torque to is equal to F, that is the force applied into R into sine of the angle theta. Magnitude of F, magnitude of R and sine of the angle between the two vectors you can say. Or tau tau will be written as R cross F. So rotating effect of force is obtained like this and remember it must be R cross F. Alright. Now you see if the theta is maximum, that is theta is 90 degree, the torque will be maximum. 
So as you hold the hand on the door and push or pull it, the action of force comes perpendicular to the distance R only. Automatically you don't have to adjust it. It happens directly. That is why the handle is fixed at far end. In that way. Okay? And uh, theta when it becomes 0 or 180. See? Here, when theta is equal to 90 degree, the torque 2 will be equal to R into F. That is maximum. But when theta is equal to 0 or 180 degree, you can see that torque 2 will be equal to 0. Because sin 0 or sin 180 is found to be 0. That is why when you apply the force parallel to the plane of the door, the door is not opening or closing. Because the top is not coming here. Understood? Okay. So these are the packs relating to what we call torque and it is denoted by tau. It reads as tau. Tau. Greek alphabet. So rotating effect of force, maximum, minimum, everything we understood. And now you find the direction of the torque. Direction will be perpendicular to both R and F. Can you see? If R is coming along this way and F goes along this way, then the rotating effect goes like this through the axis. And if you reverse the force action from that way towards this, then the rotation will be opposite. So the direction of torque will be acting direction. Direction of torque will be perpendicular to R and F. But effectively that comes along the axis of rotation. So along the axis of rotation, either upward or downward. That you can identify when you open the uh, top of your what you say, water bottle. Unbinding means you will be applying force in one direction. Closing it means rotating in the opposite direction. See, as you rotate it, it either goes into or coming up. So that is the direction in which the torque is acting. So that's why I said it is acting along its axis of rotation. Very, very important it is. So R cross F. Remember the rotation form R cross F. You don't have to write F cross R. It is wrong. And if you write F cross R, there must be a negative sign to be applied to it. Alright? So, this is very, very important. Now, I don't want to not hear that. Here we apply one force on the right. But as we apply one force on this direction, a reaction force will be coming on this other end. The fixed side hinges. A reaction force. So, there will be two forces effectively coming. One is applied force and the other is reaction force and there is a distance of separation between the two. So whenever these two forces acting at two ends of an object in opposite direction, definitely there is rotation coming. Now you see, if I try to rotate this one, I will be holding it right with and then move it. As I hold it like this and rotate it in one direction, one force is acting along this way, the other force along this way. It happens. And there will be a distance between the two also. So, effectively speaking, you can say torque will be coming into action whenever two forces, two equal and opposite forces are 
acting on a system separated by a distance. So when that condition comes on a system or applies on a system, the system will be rotating definitely. Okay? And the unit of torque, you can see R and F here, therefore it is Newton into meter with the unit of torque and dimensional formula will be M into L raised to 2, T raised to minus 2. Same as that of energy. Now, the problem is that we are writing the unit as Newton meter, not as joules. This is nothing but equal to joule. But we are, here we are writing Newton meter to distinguish that this torque is a vector quantity. Okay? Torque being vector, we take it as Newton meter. Joules, we are assigning it to work and energy, they are all scalar quantities. So, these are the basics about what you call torque. So in any system, if it is rotating, there will be a torque definitely acting on it.